Hey y'all, so listen, I um, just came back from a meeting getting ready to run back into my job really quick. And I just wanna encourage you something simple. So anybody that knows me knows how much I love words. Um, I love writing, I love reading, but I just love words because there's power. Um, just in your spoken words and even written words, just writing and sometimes going back um, a couple of weeks later and reading those things and um, feel like I have a glare. But just the power of words, right? Um, I just love words. And so I bought this cup, of course, because it has words. Like I would, they'll get me to spend money um, sometimes, especially TJ Maxx and Marshalls, just because things have words. But I love this. Um, if you can say, see it, it says fierce, fearless, and feminine. And it's pink. I love pink. Um, but I love that. And I just, even though, yes, of course I bought it because I loved it, but I just thought about it in this moment because as I was just sitting at a meeting and I kind of looked at my cut and I smiled, this is why I keep words with me. You will even see on my, um, my iPad. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but yes, I have words typed scriptures. And so, Hey, I just want to encourage you to just circle surround yourself with the word you will be surprised um i was just meditating on psalms one happy is the one who does not walk in the advice of the wicked um or listen sit um in the council of the ungodly or sit um in the company of mockers you know i i just keep the word in me but i was just thinking about this and so i just want to encourage you to be fierce today um you know, we deal with life. We deal with life, but be fierce. Know that there is a God is that is in you, that the Lion of Judah, we like to talk about all these characters and attrib attributes of our God, but there are some things that we got to kind of call up our tenaciousness and be fierce. Attack, yes, situations are crowding in, but you look, push back. And then I was just thinking about fearless. Um, This is something that's dear to me because whenever I think about fear i opposite i automatically think about the opposite which is faith and i for me of course i go immediately to olivia's situation and i have other situations to me that demonstrates faith over fear but i want to encourage you to not be like the children of israel just think today what is something that you were fearless in sometimes we have to remind ourselves of things that how we've come so far sometimes we take little things and maybe we're sitting in the midst of something and we're kind of like Oh my gosh, but we have to remember that we've we've come a mighty long way. We have triumphed and we've seen victory in some situations. So go back and pull those up. What are some ways that you were fearless and let it encourage you to know that in this situation, the same God that got you through that one will be the same God that will allow you to be fearless in this one. And last, ain't nothing like being feminine. I'm just saying, I am that girl. Like I can put on my hat, my jeans, my Nikes and be that that girl but all day long this is me like I love my jewelry and my lipstick my eyeshadow okay I ain't gonna do eyeshadow for work I just not that into that <laughs> I don't have time, but I love being feminine. I love being cute. I love, you know, just being who God made me to be. That's my identity. That's my uniqueness. I love walking by the house and, you know, just having on my cute shirt and my jeans and my pumps and my husband going, baby, you look good. I like that little combo. You know, I like to just even get a response out of Brother Bartley. So I'm just saying, I like being feminine, but whatever feminine is to you, maybe it's your Chuck in your jeep whatever but celebrate being fierce fearless and feminine bye